What's up guys, welcome to Vintage Genetics, where it is allowed classic bodybuilding. And this is part number three, the final part of my Olympia experience. And right here we are at the finals at the Friday show where I would still go on stage for a little while. And this is actually the backstage area where all the guys, including the open class guys, as you can see right there, are... Uh, training, resting, warming up, getting a tan, etc. So it was pretty amazing to see. And then it was time for us to go on stage. However, we weren't aware that we would only be on stage for like literally a minute or two because we thought that in the evening show that we would actually still have a chance to be compared. But all they do is basically uh, say our name and uh, present us as an athlete of the classic physique class but that's it so so only the top five was allowed to pose and compare during the finals and the rest of us were just standing here next to each other presenting ourselves to the audience new zealand a tale by who from the netherlands wesley Visser. from the usa the wilson but hey, at least I was at the official Olympia stage uh, because in the morning it was on the expo stage and this is the actual Olympia stage where all the prizes are awarded to the open class guys as well. So I could at least say I was on this stage and I'm very motivated for next year to compete here and be so much better than you just saw. And of course, we only had a couple of days left, so we got to get the most out of these couple of days and enjoy the various buffets in Las Vegas. And the, in the actual hotel itself, the uh, Orleans Hotel, there were a lot of little um, restaurants like this, an Asian restaurant, which I love. I love Asian food, so we got quite a lot to enjoy ourselves for sure. And this is pretty funny because at the end you got a fortune cookie and I open it up and this is the text that I saw and me and my coach actually got the same text. You will have full contentment by summer's end. What would that mean? Because I will be doing a contest again this year before summer. So who knows what that might mean as me and my coach both had the same message. So who knows? And of course, after having the nice Asian buffet, we were going to another place for a nice dessert. And I had a seven layer chocolate cake, which I fully enjoyed, which was very delicious for sure. But this was pretty much my final enjoyment of this Las Vegas adventure. Because I still had something to do. I had to do a muscle and fitness shoot or a flex magazine shoot, a photo shoot inside a gym doing all kinds of different poses, but also different exercises. And this will actually be an issue in the magazine itself. So I still wanted to look pretty good, full and conditioned, not as much conditioned, but of course conditioned enough to look good in the magazine. So usually a couple of weeks before the Olympia, you get, uh, you know, people and companies and magazines know who the popular guys are. And they kind of ask you by email if you want to shoot with them after the Olympia. And I said to Muscle Fitness slash Flex Magazine, I said, of course, I want to shoot with you because I actually got uh, a years of um, magazines of them at home of the Dutch version. I was actually featured on the cover magazine of the Dutch version as well. So to be featured in the American version is amazing for sure. So that's basically how it goes. You make an appointment via email and you have to fill out some forms. And then on the Sunday, the last day we were in Vegas, we were actually going to do this photo shoot. So we're walking towards the beginning of the photo shoot, which is just some poses in front of a white screen which is right here so and i was actually fortunate enough to wear my vintage genetics shorts for a short while during some of these poses so i hope one of those or a couple of those will be featured on either the website or the magazine because they said they really like those shorts because they are classic and vintage as well but after this after doing a couple of poses i also wore uh, the classic physique shorts which they wanted to see because of course that is my class and of course, I was going to do some classic pose like this. One of my favorites, the three-fourth front double bicep. And then we went on to do the actual photo shoot in the gym. 
So for you guys who don't know how this is usually done, beforehand you have to send a list. Uh, first of all, the muscle groups that you want to train. And for me, it was chest and uh, triceps. And then you have to say the exercises that you want to do that you want to have captured on film. And of course, the exercises that I chose were all classic exercises like the bench press, the dumbbell press and the dumbbell pullover that you see right here. I don't think a lot of people choose this exercise for a chest session, but this will all be covered in the Muscle and Fitness magazine of the Flex uh, magazine section in the magazine itself. And you, now you can see kind of how it goes. Every single you know, exercise is captured from different angles and they move around those lighting, the flashes, they move them around to actually get a very nice result at the end. And you can actually watch the pictures right after they are taken. But it was an amazing experience for sure to actually be in an official photo shoot for a very popular bodybuilding magazine in America. I'm a Dutch guy for the first time doing the Olympia already experiencing this. And when doing arms, I couldn't let myself to actually do the concentration curl, of course, and some rope tries to push down to show the definition in the triceps, which was amazing. And the last exercise we did were some body weight dips, one of the best exercises to target the entire chest. And as I always say, you target the lower chest with this, as you just saw in the reps, the striations, and that was the end of the photo Look, shoot. it's a lot. Yeah, yeah, you, that's... Yay. Awesome. Good job, buddy. And of course, when we have some uh, time to spare, the Hoover Dam is actually pretty close to Las Vegas itself. Uh, it's only like an hour or a little bit more drive. So we went there. We actually rented a car for the entire duration. A very nice Dutch van car, pretty uh, modern one uh, with air conditioning, of course, which is unmissable in Las Vegas because it's literally a desert as you can see but the environment is really amazing to see and Hoover Dam right here is just incredible you really have to see it for yourself but look at how deep this goes down and this is just one of the things that I will definitely remember for the rest of my life because the Olympia itself of course is amazing but to experience Las Vegas for the first time and the entire state of Nevada right here the you know the, the nature the history, seeing everything like this, the entire, the amazing constructions that you see. This is actually the other side of the Hoover Dam where the water is still high. And uh, on the other side that you will see in just a second is where actually the water is a lot lower because that is what the dam is for, holding the water on the other side and letting a little bit through to actually you know, conduct electricity to power Las Vegas. And look at how deep that is incredible and just like las vegas you have to have been there to actually know what it's like uh to be there and after having experienced all this we used the bus after we delivered our rental car to go to the airport with our all of our stuff and um, it was just incredible to experience all this and um you know i'm really looking forward to next year this is the airport right here I'm actually bought a lot of Las Vegas t-shirts, as you can see me wearing right there. And uh, just to have a little souvenir to remember this by, because this is only the first experience of many. And you always see on social media, like the guys who compete at the Olympia, you only see the contest and that they're not really emotional about what they're actually experiencing. But trust me, when you experience this for the first time as a non-American, um, seeing all this, it's kind of hard to grasp that it's actually happening, but I'm very fortunate to see everything, uh, to experience everything like this as a Dutch guy going to the Olympia, being in America. This is what I've been training for for 11 years now, and finally it's been happening, and I will be training even harder. I will be even more consistent. I will be even more disciplined to make sure the next time will be a lot better. But anyway, first up is the Arnold Classic in Ohio, which will be amazing as well. I want to thank you for watching. A lot more videos are coming. And I don't want you to forget to stay golden.